Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Next duelist in line from left to right is Clyde. Ah, yes. You wanna duel with me? Okay, but I have a special rule. I'd like for your deck to have a total of six ghastly and haunter cards. Dang. I don't have that quite yet. Any combination of the two is fine. Three and three, four and two, whatever works. I wouldn't recommend this, but he even says, of course you're free to even use four Haunter and two Ghastly if you want. Anyway, when your deck has at least six of these ghost cards, I'll duel. So you're ready to fight? Feel free to build a new deck if you need to. We'll see us. Your deck doesn't have the six total Ghastly and Haunter cards. I won't accept your challenge in that case. So we're gonna go over... Uh-huh. <laughs> and we gotta do some uh, modifications. So we're gonna go with probably... Mm, mm, I really have to use that ghastly. <laughs> How would I do? <laughs> like that, and then... <laughs> and then two of those ones. Yeah, I don't really even... I'm not that much of a fan of this Haunter in general either. Um, <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna have to deal. I uh, definitely want to keep the colorless because of that. Actually, we know what I should do. Um, I'll go... Drop the Rattata on Raticate line. And maybe that Tauros. Just to kind of speed things along, okay. <laughs> Alright! Have you prepared a deck facilitating my requirements? Remember, I only duel decks with a total of six Ghastly and Haunter cards. If you have any combination of these totally six cards, we may battle. No. Ah, okay. Then we won't have a card battle. Such disappointment. Yeah, you got a combination of the six cards. I mean, so the combination of six of the cards are requested. <laughs> that aside, let's duel with four prize cards. Well, shall we begin? The Nightmare Deck! I guess based off of the Ghastly Hunter's scariness of, of sorts. But I think this is a lot more scary than the Ghastly and Haunter. Alright, so that's my only choice. I'm gonna have to go for that Wigglytuff. I go first to boot. And we're gonna do that. And we're gonna Lullaby. And you know what that Ghastly... And Jigglypuff's resistance, that could be kind of a problem for him to get through. We'll see how things go. He's probably got a little, little something to counter. Oh, ooh, he's got the uh, Haunter there. I just need to barely flicker up on the screen there. That was the Haunter that was like, eh, I don't like using that Haunter, but he picked that Haunter. Maybe he doesn't have any other Haunters himself. <laughs> and sleep is a go-go. Let's plop that on there, and energy removal, the ghastly for the future, and pound. Just to kind of, kind of keep them down just in case. Still asleep. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So that means no retreating to boot, unless he's got like a switch card or something like that. But yeah, I was expecting him to wake up and then pop back in. Okay, there we go. That'll, that'll sort of work. Kind of. <laughs> and he'll put Jigglypuff to sleep, but 50-50 chance of waking up similar to what I thought, yeah, because, yeah, <laughs> it's just how sleep typically seems to work. Alright, might as well go for it. Do that, and, uh, should I just, should I energy removal that, or should I just do the wave? Probably just do the wave. I mean, yeah, it's not going to do very much no matter what, but, yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't go for the powering up for the possible 50, which is actually going to be 20 because of the psychic resistance. And Jig Wigglytuff wakes up. I've got nothing else to do the wave, so <laughs> maybe I will just go do that. And yeah, do the wave. <laughs> just kind of nick away at the haunter. And yeah, I, I wouldn't count on. Uh, well, I was gonna say, I wouldn't count on uh, him being able to use that Haunter's attack anytime soon. Well, I guess it can. <laughs> That's okay, not that big of a deal. It's only the 20, and I'm bound to get another basic somewhere along the line, so... And, oh, there it is! There's the Jinx! Plop that on there, and... I could actually switch and double slap. I think I will do that, actually. 
And maybe, perhaps, I can knock out the Hunter? No! <laughs> It'll do zero! <laughs> I went for it! You can't say I didn't go for the... Go for the faint there! Hmm... Okay. <laughs> anyway, do the wave is uh, powering itself up as I get more critters, so that's also partly why I put Jinx out there. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a way to kind of get things set up for the future. And I got 10 off that time, but yeah, that's the average for Double Slap. I'm gonna go for, well, assuming I can, <laughs> the more powerful attack if I can wake up and get an energy card, which I did not wake up, but... Whoa! Um... I'm tempted to suck away those energy. I think I will. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, and I will end my turn. Waking up. <laughs> He's probably got more energy, but... Uh, full of heal energy. That's actually... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I got plus power. You can save that for later. I'll chances are I'll get 10. There's the 10. And I got 20, but I only needed 10. So, yep. There goes the Haunter. <laughs> Alright, so Kangaskhan has got Psychic Resistance, so it'd be better off to do the wave here. Probably. <laughs> Unless, uh, no, um, there's going to be four energy cards attached. Oh, oh, it's for damage counters, not energy. That's right. Yeah, ooh, that wouldn't even work anyway. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I guess what I'll do here is do the retreat so I can do the wave. I'm, I think I'm going to hold on to the plus power for now and just kind of nick away with 20 at a time. Just kind of for the surprise factor of leaving it with 30 HP and then... <laughs> At doing that additional 10 damage, I'll also get more basic Pokemon. That'll that'll accelerate things a little bit quicker as well. So, do the wave. Yeah, it's kind of weird how little basic Pokemon I'm getting here. Genghiskhan mm, is probably gonna be going for the retreat if I'm if I'm betting here. Oh no no! <laughs> that that could be game right there with do the wave. Um, well, I plop that on there, and we shall Professor Oak to get a bunch of bench Pokemon. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, <laughs> dump everything, Bill too. <laughs> dump everything, I say. <laughs> uh, and I might as well set this up for the future as well. We're gonna suck away that energy there, and oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I was getting all excited. Let's do the way for 60. <laughs> it's the plus power. That was actually overkill plus power. I didn't think I'd get that many basics, but... Wow. I, it doesn't really matter, because, you know, I, was used, I had to use the plus power or lose it anyway, so I might as well just plop it on there. Um, who should I power up now? I don't, I don't know how I would describe this attack, it's just like... It, it's some, like, powered-up wave attack, that's how I envision it. I <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in pretty good position for victory now. Uh, plop that there. Hello, wave. We meet again. And... We got Haunter. Transparency may prevent me from attacking. Or maybe it won't, but we'll see how that turns out. It's definitely gonna go for the sleep, but uh, that that coin flip combined with the transparency may prevent me from attacking anytime soon, because it's, you know, 25% chance I'm gonna go energy removal to disable the nightmare, but yeah, see transparency? Uh, if heads prevent all effects of attacking, including damage, so yeah, it could be a problem, but we'll see. We're gonna go possibly prepare for the future there, and if I get heads, I win. I mean, if I get tails, I win, excuse me. <laughs> it was the opponent flipping, so yeah, tails, so. There is my victory. So it started out kind of slow, because I got kind of nothing, but <laughs> thankfully that nothing was actually something in the form of Jigglypuff, so, <laughs> you know, with the psychic resistance and everything like that. And yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, 
Okay. Legends booster pack as well. Let's see here. Yes, Pokemon Breeder. Nice card. Grab a stage 2 evolution and place it on the basic Pokemon, but only when it can evolve. So you can skip that middle evolution and go straight to the finale of power. Um, okay. <laughs> but how, how can I lose? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll turn the final switch on. Since this means the elevator is now operational, you can move on. Claire should be waiting for you at the top of the stronghold. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, she, she kind of came down. Since, you're de si bleh, since you've defeated three members, you may come up to the top floor. I'll be waiting for you to arrive to start our card duel. No, no, not, not yet. Oh, no, 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 no. A little bit more dialogue. Are you challenging me again? My requirements are still the same. Does your deck contain six total Ghastly and Haunter cards? If so, let us begin our fight. No. <sighs> and yeah, even though we already unlocked the boss up there, we still got another one to battle right here, and her requirements are insane. I'm Heidi, the daughter of the Stronghold's leader, Claire. You choose... I mean, you chose to meet... Do I I can't talk today, Zav the Reeds? <laughs> you chose me to be one of your required opponents, correct? We'll, we'll call it that. I already beat the other three. In that case, I must ask you to follow my own personal rule. Get ready! Please do not include any trainer cards in your deck for our battle. No Professor Oak, no Bill, no Energy Removal, no Pokemon Breeder, no Pokemon Trainer. Yeah! <laughs> this means you can't have any cards like potions or Clefairy dolls. Even if one is included in your deck, I will refuse to battle you. Yes. Excuse me, were you aware that you have trainer cards in that deck? My mother told me to be strict with my requirements, no matter what. I apologize. I cannot accept your challenge. Alright, so... We gotta do something here. <laughs> I'm thinking... Actually, maybe not this one, because, you know, Psychic Pokemon. I'm thinking... No, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll actually just modify this one. Because it has the ability to... I mean, it's already kind of kind of dismantled in general, but I mean, it has kind of the ability to do super effective attacks thanks to the Psychic Pokemon and whatnot, so we are clear in that regard. Oh, and I should actually, um, yeah, I'm going to keep the Wigglytuff line. Let's see, I, I want, I, I really don't have the right Ghastlies and Haunters that, I, that I'd want to play if I wanted to play them, so I'm going to remove those. Um... I guess I should go back to it being a uh, psychic water deck. I'm gonna have to use some filler because of the lack of trainer cards with details. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm gonna go back and actually, what I should do, I'll do that. But instead of the Gyarados, I'm gonna go with the Squirtle and War Turtle line, just to kind of mix things up here. I think I'm gonna go with this one, two of those, one of those, one of those. I don't really have the... Well, I mean, I, there is that one. <laughs> but I said I didn't want to abuse that for the sake of new strategy. Should I, though? <laughs> because if I play that, it's game over. <laughs> uh, wait, did I just accidentally hit... No, I didn't. I thought I accidentally added something I didn't want to. Uh, well, actually, I'm, s I'm still looking to fill some stuff here, so... Maybe I'll try Dark Gyarados this time. No, st still need more filler! <laughs> I'm not used to having no trainer cards. Uh, actually, come to think of it, if I am going to have no trainer cards, I should probably have more energy cards, because I can't rely on trainer cards giving me energies for the draws. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with 25 there. I'm not saving that to the record machine, it's, it's trainer card list! <laughs> Alright, let's try it and see what we get out of this. We have all special requirements for opponents to battle us here. Mind now that your deck must not contain any trainer cards. If you have such a deck ready, I shall accept your challenge. No. I'm going to continue guarding my mom, just as she taught me. You did a bad job! You, you let the other three lose! Actually, I don't know if I would <laughs> I wouldn't say that! 
Because <laughs> she can only do her own part, so I'm just joking around. Feel free to return for a battle if you change your mind. Um, 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 uh, yes. You have followed my request most admirably. If you would please, please four prize cards so we may begin. So, the Pokemon Power Deck is a go-go. Uh, besides the Psychic Water Deck that I'm using here to kind of kind of offset all sorts of stuff that trainer cards could potentially do, like, you know, stalling to so I can draw cards in the future instead of using Bill or Professor Oak and whatnot. Um, yeah, you could indeed use stuff like Kangaskhan to draw cards, stuff like that. So you're you're entirely relying on your Poke Poopers as opposed to your trainer cards to get your Poke Poopers good to go. So, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of loss of symbiosis, I guess you could say. And here we go with the lullaby. But there's zero bench Pokemon on her side, so that might be a uh, automatic victory for me, unless she starts getting some in the background here. But she also might be able to do some paralysis. Okay, she managed that. She can't do any damage with that Abra, though, because of the psychic resistance, so... Eh! Eh, we're good. Um... Let's see here... I guess I should focus on that Gyarados and just lullaby in the future. I mean lullaby for the future. Or use an energy card to be able to attack when I can attack. Whenever whenever it tails happens, but... <laughs> uh, there's also, of course, the possibility of getting a Wigglytuff, which is another game over scenario. <laughs> Uh, especially since I got so many critters going on here. Okay, Kadabra's out. Kadabra can do some damage. Uh, 20 damage per attack, but I think I'm gonna end up pounding it into submission before that happens. But, like, before it'll be able to knock me out, because I get the first attack. Okay, Dratini's out. So she's got a little bit of backup now. And let's see what I draw. I got a Psychic. We're gonna put that... Oh, why did I do... I wanted to press down twice. Oh, I wanted to put it on the other Jigglypuff in case of Wigglytuff because Dark Gyarados only uses yeah, <laughs> only uses water energy. Well, that's a waste of energy. <laughs> if I ever saw one, well, it happens, I suppose. Oh, Dratini's got some double colorless going. Hmm. That obviously wouldn't happen IRL, because it's <laughs> such so, 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 a misclick IRL, but... Um... Yeah, kind of low on the energies, but I'm gonna pound the cadaver out, just to kind of prevent the super high attack power from nicking away at me. And oh man! That means Dark Dragonite is gonna be coming. And she'll definitely be able to, yeah... <laughs> You know, it'll wipe out the Jigglypuff even without the coin flip. That's a 40. Alright, now we got ourselves kind of a duel. Uh, I'll put on Jinx for stalling. And there's another Gyarados. Let's go ahead and begin the slapping. Because uh, I don't believe that the uh, Gyarados has psychic resistance. I mean, uh, uh, Dragonair has. Yeah, Dragonair doesn't have psychic resistance because it's a different kind of colorless Pokemon. And yeah. So, wait, you're putting Kadabra instead? Oh, I see, I was gonna say, because I, I would have swore she would have gone for Dragonite, but I guess she had the basic uh, Abra on her draw. That's all right. And Psychic. So we're gonna go plop that on the Jiggly. Yeah, I'm kinda, kinda lacking in stuff, but we shall see how things turn out. At least I'll do a little bit of damage for now. Still a lot of prize cards to go, but no trainer cards will be found to give our hands a little energy card boost or something like that. And wow, getting a lot of head flips on that tail strike there, I see. <laughs> and yeah, Jigglypuff is next. I'll do lullabies in the meantime. The seal is going on the bench too. Yeah, lullabies will be nice stalling time. Please don't wake up, then. <laughs> I'm not getting the coin flips here again. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's that Alakazam. 
that Alakazam could be the staller of the ages. And 20 damage for the tail strike, but okay, and an Abra. I'm gonna go and lullaby again, I suppose. You're kinda kinda stuck at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like even if I didn't put that energy on uh magic car, but it still wouldn't have really been able to do much in general. So okay, now you're getting the tail flips. Hmm. You two, that's that could be potential right there. But please stay asleep this time. <laughs> please stay asleep. Dang! <laughs> Man, not my game. I mean I got all these all these stalling methods. But everything is failing me. <laughs> ah, that happens sometimes. Uh yeah, I might just end up having to replay a said duel, but um, this Mewtwo has no energy, so it's kind of kind of out of the question to do anything with it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Oh, and of course, you would get the Heads coin flip. You'll probably get it next turn as well and just get the last prize card. Uh, but actually, it wouldn't matter anyway, because Mewtwo has a two retreat cost. I was just counting on that she would get a few tail flips in there. <laughs> yeah, still nothing. And I, you see me put extra energy in the deck, so it's just like, eh, eh, yeah. That's another way of beating me, because <laughs> it's double damage, psychic versus psychic. Yeah, it's kind of the the uh, trait of psychic Pokemon. All right, we're gonna try it again. Same deck, same time, same place. It is my victory. <laughs> if you do not feel that you can win against me, please duel the others. No, I, I feel I can. I feel I can win. There's this little little deck hiccup going on there. Well, I'm a special. Blah, 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 same dialogue. Yes, yes. We are going again. And let's see what I get this time. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with the way that I built the deck. It's just that I yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I got scored a list on that. That's that's gonna be a big difference compared to the last game. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock, of course, as would I. And nothing. But yeah, the Squirtle's got a lot of HP, and it can do a lot of damage pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a bite, and hopefully we can knock out that Abra. Hopefully. <laughs> no. Oh. Sand face. Sand face. I could use a war turtle. That would be kind of nice. Let's do a little evolution. Uh, well, as long as it's not. Yeah. As long as it's not able to attack, I might as well do that. Make her think that I don't have another water, perhaps. Mind games of sorts. And yeah, you can't attack when you do that. I actually. I don't know if I would. Well, maybe I would have done that because it increases the HP. I was going to say, I don't know if I would have did that because I might actually have... Yeah. This <laughs> is Mario kicking a shell at the Kadabra. Um, because the HP does go up, but then you have to wait... Oh, she doesn't have energy. Okay, I definitely would not have evolved then. Because, yeah, I would have... Uh, even if I had the energy, I'm not sure if I would have evolved because of the paralysis. So, yeah... Alright, so we've got something going here. Hey, yeah, might as well Skull Bash. I mean, if she does end up knocking out the Squirtle by getting an energy card, it's not that big of a deal. Because I'm just going to counter it by being able to finish off. Wait, what? You didn't get an energy, but yet you didn't use Cadaver's Recover. Pardon me? I... Uh, another... Mysterious AI decision, and we bite. <laughs> All right, she's she's throwing the game this time. She's giving us mercy. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Just... <laughs> mm, okay. Mm, got a flopperoo here. And power up the Mewtwoer. The Skull Basher. Yeah, where's her energy cards this time? How do you like it? Ah! Ah! <laughs> no turn. I mean, no attack for a turn because she's still got no energy. Plop that out there. Maybe I can get a wiggly tough and yeah, continue skull bashing, I guess. Woo! 
and one more for a prize. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh, potion energy. And that's still not super useful, but still. <laughs> I forgot that they could have those sorts of energy cards. Um, yeah, I'm gonna plop that on there. Uh, I wonder if I should evolve that magic card. Just, yeah. Is the final beam anyway. And Skull Bash. I mean, yeah, that potion energy didn't much matter because of Skull Bash. Or Koopa Shell. <laughs> but it was just a thing of that. Eh, it's, 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 it's nice to know that she has that, basically, for possible future planning. Um, I probably should go for the other Mewtwo. And, yeah, bash away. No plus power, no trainer cards allowed, so... No surprise attacks potentially coming from the trainers. Yeah, as I was saying, this is a really insane requirement to, to, to duel with. Oh, right, that's not whatever. <laughs> when someone will get knocked out eventually, then I'll be able to do the seal dugong combo. I don't really have the energy for it anyway, so... We're okay. And just just kind of trading blows. Well, actually, I'm doing the blows, but... <laughs> But I mean, that just the way that it's going right now, everything is fine, turn to by turn. And another Squirtle, no sign of a Blastoise. She's probably like, thank god for that. <laughs> Arceus is on my side. No one can stand up to Blastoise. Well, Rain Dance, Blastoise, no one. No one, and no energy removal either, by the way, so... <laughs> So I can't even uh, kind of stall out the Slowpoke from having another energy. Uh, Slowbro, strange behavior, Slowbro, so she might want to bench it and suck energy, I mean, uh, suck the uh, damage counters from others, or not. <laughs> I, guess you can, I guess you could do it that way too, but don't I have something that could do 40 damage? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. But I don't actually have water energy to, to go with it anyway, but... Yeah, the, the Super Psy here is... <laughs> that's gonna do 100 damage, actually, but basically any Psychic Pokémon on my side that can do 20 damage will do 40 to her. So, yeah, I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was the best way to go with that. I don't know if maybe she just didn't have a choice in the matter and she was hoping I would make a mistake or something, but I win this time. As expected, you defeated me. And the Rocket Booster Pack! Let's go, go! Probably all duplicates. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lost Isle Booster Pack! And let's go, go, go! Well, this is the one Imakuni used. You've seen that one before. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Mother, I hope it is alright. Your daughter has lost. I suppose I shall s still fail follow the protocol for activating my switch, even though the elevator is already available for you, so you did notice! <laughs> and it is activated. Mint, since I lost you, I feel like I've let my mother down. I'd like to fight you again to win back my honor, but... Please allow me to continue using my custom duel requirement. I'd like to fight you only if your deck contains no trainer cards. No. I understand. It's fine if you do not wish to play. I hope your future battles are pleasant and enjoyable. They will be, even if I don't get the energy cards, because this game is dang fun. And with that, whoops. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part till we head up that teleporter and battle the big boss of the Psychic Forts. Well, well, Psychic Stronghold, I guess you could say that. That works too. <laughs>